So we are here in this uh, Jewish holiday called Sukkot or the Feast of Tabernacle or the Feast of Booth. It has many many names but this feast is one of the most important three feasts from the Torah. It's called Shloshat HaRegalim, the three main holidays. During the time of the Temple in Jerusalem when the Temple existed, this was the religious obligation of people to go to the Temple three times a year. Um, Passover, 50 days later during the Feast of Shavuot and Pentecost and of course six months after Passover during the time of the Feast of Booth or Tabernacle and those holidays everybody had to go up to the temple they had to come bring sacrifices they had to come and pay the taxes they had to come and visit but this is synchronized with the agricultural seasons of the year and so most of the Jews were farmers and the visit in Jerusalem is synchronized with the agricultural work here in Israel most um, everything grows in winter and it's harvested either in early or late spring. For example, in Passover they harvest the wheat, in Pentecost they harvest the barley, and some of the crops left in the field to dry out throughout summer and are picked during Sukkot or during the Feast of Tabernacles. So another name of this feast is the Feast of the Harvest. And um, when you're done with harvesting your fields, then everything, you have everything. Then your storage is full, you have your olive oil that was done, you have your agricultural products, and you can prepare for next year. And this is why during the Feast of Sukkot, uh, there's a special prayer, they pray for rain, because rain should start right after Sukkot. So if rain is in its time, and if everything goes well with the agricultural cycles, then this becomes the land of milk and honey. This is exactly what God promised when the Israelites entered into the promised land, that if you listen to me and do whatever I tell you to do, then uh, your rain will come in its due time and everything, you know, the agricultural seasons would follow and everything would be fine. So this holiday is very, very important. Um, and that's why in biblical days, people used to assemble at the temple. And nowadays, when there's no temple, they still do a traditional sort of assembly. Uh, one of the days in Sukkot, in the Western Wall in Jerusalem, there is a big assembly of Jews from all over uh, and a big, big ceremony of what they call the Aaronic Blessings. Uh, unfortunately not this year because of COVID everything is different and so there's no big assemblies um, but that's how they used to do it during temple period and that's how they used to do it until uh, until today so there's lots of symbolism in this in this holiday uh, the fact that you move out of your house and go live in a hut or go live in a tent and everybody would do that religious and non uh, rich people and non not rich people so that actually shows that everybody are equal and for those seven days of uh, of Sukkot, you just move out of your comfort zone and go live in a, in a tent or in a sukkah. The other thing you do in Sukkot is take in the four kinds. The four kinds are four different agricultural plants that we put together in order to pray with them. One of them is the etrog, the citron. Um, it has flavor, it has taste. Myrtle that has uh, smell, nice smell. Uh, willows that have neither no smell no taste uh, and date date palms that have taste and no smell and so when you put all those together uh, it represents the four different types of personalities or four different types of humanity um, and by putting them together you show that everything is unity and everybody are one and that's one of the important meanings of this feast of um, of tabernacle uh, so it's an agricultural feast it's a symbolic feast, it's a religious feast, one of the three main uh, feasts that everybody would go up to Jerusalem. Uh, but it's interesting to see the equivalence between the Jewish perspective of the three main holidays and the Christian perspective. Two of those three holidays were fulfilled already uh, in Jesus. Uh, Passover time is when the Israelites were saved out of Egypt uh, with the blood of the Lamb. Of course, Passover is when Jesus was crucified and his blood covers for everybody's sin. 50 days later, in Shavuot and Pentecost, is the day where the Israelites received the Old Covenant on Mount Sinai. And 50 days after crucifixion is Pentecost when the Holy Spirit comes on the disciples and they receive the New Covenant. But there's one feast that hasn't been fulfilled yet, and that is the Feast of Tabernacle. And the importance of that feast is the assembly of everybody in Jerusalem. And this is why Christian theology says that this feast will be fulfilled when the coming of the Messiah and everybody will be once again um, gathered and assembled in Jerusalem. And so this holiday starts today, it's a week-long holiday 
I want to wish everybody Chag Sameach, a happy holidays, um, and hopefully very, very soon things will change and things um, will be better and people will start coming back again and we'll see you again in Jerusalem, especially during the Feast of Tabernacle where everybody are going to Jerusalem and this time Jerusalem was supposed to be very, very full with different groups and people. So till then, stay healthy, stay well and keep visiting our site, keep watching Beautiful Israel and keep watching Jewish Holiday Series. Thank you.